Mic Auto Mix feature allows to manage a subgroup of the microphones connected to the audio console like a single audio source. This feature can be used to simplify the mixing operations and allows an easier management of a complex microphone setup or just to use one single fader of the control surface to save faders for the other sources. The AutoMix signal is managed like an independent audio source. In fact, we can find it in the channel selection drop-down list and it's available on all the Oxygen Series audio console models. We can choose its name and many other features, the gain level, the speaker cut and the on-air lamp light-up. Moreover, we can manage the ducking feature and the choice of the GUI's colors. As a matter of fact, the workflow of the Mic AutoMix can be described with a sequence of three blocks. A block that manages the automatic level control of the single signal. A stage that actually manages the level of the involved signals. And last, a block that acts like an audio compressor of the resulting signal. To build an AutoMix source, we need to select the involved microphones among those connected to the console. Then, in order to customize the behavior of the Mic AutoMix feature, we can configure this virtual channel through the parameters. We can't foresee the behavior of the guests that will speak into the microphones. Sometimes they speak more or less loudly, with different distances from the microphone and with different tones of voice. Nor can we change the configuration parameters each time. The first stage performs an independent automatic gain control on each channel. In order to make the level of all the audio signals as similar as possible. In this step the parameters are the reaction speed of the automatic intervention, the maximum gain level, the maximum attenuation level. This step mimics the behavior of a human technician on the faders. When one of the guests speaks, AutoMix raises the level of his microphone and lowers the level of all the other microphones. The scope is to emulate a human behavior and a natural level change, managing customizable attack and decay curves. The parameters are the attenuation level of silent guests' microphones, the opening curve of the microphone which is starting to talk, the release curve of the microphones which has finished talking. If we simply sum up the signals of all the microphones, we will get a final audio signal which is too high. Thus, we need a compression stage of the final signal managed by the usual compression parameters. The compression threshold, the compression ratio, the attack speed and the release speed. Using the AutoMix virtual source allows to continue to manage also each single microphone individually. We can switch easily from the AutoMix mode to the separate microphones mode in case we need a more thorough manual mix. For example, using the Oxygen Remoter software or the virtual faders. At the end of the day, if you need an easier way of managing many microphones or if you need to save faders on the broadcast console, AutoMix is a good solution and it's available for every Oxygen Series new models.